Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely uh, 2023 um, calendar folio. Um, I've shown you this in a previous video um, and I've had lots of you ask me if I could do a tutorial on it. Um, so that's what I'm going to attempt for you today. Um, so we've got the 2023 calendar in there and I've also got like a little notepad and we've got a little pencil or a pen holder in the middle so it's really really lovely um, these just slot out because I've made like little pockets and I've got like a little tab here which just slots in the pocket um, and then I've just printed on um, the black and white one I printed the paper then the black and white one and I've done two to a page so I think that looks really really pretty and very shabby little bit of lovely rose trim on there and again I've done the same with a little notebook um, on this side just made a little tab um, and that just slots into the pocket like that so it's you can just um, once you've used it you can just make another one and pop um, it in or you could just make it into two little notepads in there um, which is lovely so the kit that I used for this one is let me get a piece of paper is this one from my Etsy shop which is the 2023 calendar now you get the vintage and you also get the black and white um, and it's really really lovely and what I've done they come like this to print out so this is the black and white one um, but what I have done I've just printed two to a page so that brings them down smaller um, and I'm going to be using the vintage one today which is lovely so I'm going to show you uh, um, what or how we can do it so I've already sort of like tried to prepare a few things now I did want to change this I'm not sure whether I'm going to pop this in there I'm going to try and do something different um, instead of having the eyelets in there because the chipboard that I've got is quite thick and it, it did take it but not brilliantly um, but if you have smaller chipboard um, then it might go through a little bit better not smaller but thinner so let me show you let's pop that to the side I've got some bits and pieces here ready I've got some lovely lace and rose trim um, ready and I've also done the little um, notepads like this and pop that on the back now I do have a tutorial on this as well so I've got that one ready um, and I've sort of got this half ready like this just to show you so what you do you cut out you print two to a page and then you cut them all out pop them all together and then you want to make like a little notebook and then you want to stick a little bit of card on here onto the back just so it flaps like that and then you make sure this is level I'll link the video down below anyway I'm going to put another layer of glue on here because it needs another layer and then all you do you pop a little bit of glue along the top like that spread it across and that just keeps the pages together and it acts as a little tear off pad so you can make these with scrap papers and everything like that so I'm gonna uh, so I've made those ready so they're nice and dry so they are ready to go so I'm gonna pop those to the side don't need these bits anymore um, I've half done this as well so this is just the chipboard um, the two outer pages are which are the back and the front cover are four and three quarter by six and a quarter inches or 12 by 16 centimeters and this is um, one inches wide or two and a half centimeters there I've written it on there so and all I've done I've got a piece of this craft tape paper tape and I've popped that um, along here to keep them together and that just folds up into your lovely little book like that or your little folio I'm just going to pop another bit of tape in the middle just to hold these pieces together like that so that's all done let me just get this and just stick that down and just make sure it's down those little holes so that's quite simple to do and then we just got our lovely little cover like that 
So the papers that I'm going to use to cover this one are from the Chevy French collection. I'll pop a link down below for that as well. I've got two pieces for the inside. So these will just stick on the inside. Um, and these two are for the outside, which I'm going to cover the outside with um, like that. And then I have cut some little bits of fabric. Now, I think these are about three inches wide, I believe. So roughly three inches or about eight centimetres, seven and a half, eight centimetres. And then it's just the same length as the as your folder. This one is a little bit, this one's the same length. And this one is a little bit bigger because I wanted to just wrap that around. But we will do that afterwards. So let's get these stuck on first. So I think I want this one as the front cover. So which way shall we go? Doesn't really matter, does it? I think we'll put that on there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, which I am not ready. I've got a little brush here. And I'm just going to pop some matte medium on here. Just a little bit like that. I'm going to get a piece of paper. Let's just pop that underneath so I don't make a big mess. So this will just spread over. So stick it down with whatever you like. Um, I'm just using some matte medium on here. I'm not going to go all the way over to here because we're going to pop that little bit of fabric down on there. So I'm just going to stick that on like that make sure it's sort of at level and then I'm going to turn that over and then we'll just snip these corners off like that and then we can fold this in that just folds in nicely. A little bit more glue like this. So this is, oops, I hope I'm in shot, sorry. Let's just pop this glue on here. Trouble is with the um, chipboard, it does soak, the glue does soak in and sort of like disappear quite quickly. There you go. Pop that on there. Like that. Now we're going to cover the corners with some little um, metal corner covers. A bit more in there it's stuck down so that's going to be the front so that's lovely so look how simple it is now these are really good for um, book covers anyway or folio covers or journal covers this is a really good way of making them so let's do the back and make sure we're going to pop it on the right way because we need to be this way oops I think that might be a little bit too much Squidge it all out everywhere. There we go. Do with a little squeegee thing wherever it is. I don't know what I've done with it now. Make sure that's nice and flat. The nice thing about this matte medium, it doesn't make your paper go all bubbly. Um, and a good tip as well, if you put glue on both the paper and the cover that tends to stop it going bubbly as well so look at all that glue everywhere let's get rid of this paper and else i'm going to get glue all over the cover let's just cut this corner off get rid of those 
was two pieces. quick to do um, and again you can obviously you can make them in any style you want to but I do love this um, shabby French collection paper I just think it is a gorgeous there we go get rid of that sticky paper Perfect, look at that, isn't that just lovely? So that's quick and simple. And I'm going to stick on the inside bit like that. So that sticks on nicely, let's have a nice, maybe I'll put the glue on the paper as well. Put the blob in there. To go around the outside. Big blob of this in the middle. There we go. Make sure we're the right way around. Not that it really matters. You don't really see this piece because it's sort of almost covered up. Well, that didn't go on very straight, did it? Wash that down nicely. Let's just go under this little bit, I think. Stick it down. Perfect. Now this piece. Nice and glued down. Okay. There we go, that's pretty good. Oops, glue everywhere else. Look at that. Lovely. So that's the inside and that's the outside. So that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Make sure it's stuck down. I am going to go round with the sewing machine as well. Um, but again, that's optional as well. So this piece is going to be for the outside. So this is going to go on the outside here like that. And then I'm going to fold it in like that. So that is your spine. So let's just stick that down. Let's do that. We don't want too much of this glue because I don't want it to come through the fabric. And again, this is just sort of like a calico fabric, but you obviously use whatever you have that you normally use or whatever will go with your journal. Need to make sure we are sort of in the middle, don't we? And then I'm going to just fold this over. See how this glue is going to work. Can you see it just comes through a little bit, but that will dry. It might need the thicker. Um, one that I was using before. I didn't use this thinner one. I used a thicker one. 
or you can obviously use a fabric tack as well. Stick that down. Like that. Perfect. I do like this. I do love this paper. And then what I'm going to do with this one is just stick that over the top like that which is a perfect lots and lots of glue and then we can just um, leave this for a minute just to dry before we do anything else lovely so that's the inside and that's the outside let's just go on with this little bit here now again i will be sewing on here so if you're not going to sew again make sure it's glued down really really well Now, I'm going to leave that for two minutes to dry um, and then we can get on with the rest of it. So I will be back in two seconds. Okay, so that's pretty much dry now. I didn't want to um, sew over the top of it while it was still wet. So what I am going to do, I'm going to just go around the outside with my sewing machine. So like this one here, I've gone around the outside. Now my machine will go through this chipboard um, and it goes through quite well. Um, so just make sure um, yours um, sewing machine will go through it. Do a little test run first. And then I'm just gonna go down the edges. I went through this twice um, and this side um, just so it keeps this on as well like that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. And then I will be back for so two minutes. Okay, so there we go. That is it all sewn around. Now let me just get my little scissors and chop off these little bits of cotton and tidy it up a little bit. Let's see. Okay. So again, like I said, if you wanted to make one of these, you don't have to so if you don't want to but just make sure everything is stuck down properly this is a little bit baggy but it will be fine so i think that's all the cotton so that just folds over like that so again i've just done two lines of um sewing down there so that's the front opens up love it i think it looks really nice so there we go so what we need to do now, now these are dry, so this little one will go on this side and this will go on that side there, like that. Now I've already made the um, little pockets which are really, really simple. It's just a rectangle of um, paper, same as the paper that I did on the cover. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pop that through like that sit that on there and that is what we stick down onto there so i've stuck it on like that and then what i will do i will glue around this bit and stick it down like that so i know that it's going to be in the right place and the same is this one so just make your little pocket just a little bit bigger than the actual um, little tab that's going to go inside so you can make it a little bit wider if you want to, but it's just sort of just over an inch. So then I would just put a little bit of glue around this bit and then I would just stick that on like that, just so they're sort of like a nice level. So wherever you'd like to put them. So that's, that's what I will do in a second. But what I think I might do is just put 
these little corners on. So these are just little, um, not sh quite sure, I've got um, a little um, a thing in my Amazon storefront. I'll pop a link to that down below. So I just think they finish it off lovely. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue just on the edge as well. Just on this little bit, just to hold them on. Because I don't think they sort of like stay on too well like that. Now let me just get them off pliers. I thought I was a little bit more organised than this. So let's just hold that on. Just squeeze that gently. Don't want it to pop out too much. So that can be squeezed down. Just gently either side like that. So then that's on nice. A little bit of glue this side. don't need too much glue but just a little bit to hold it on and just hold one side down and just squeeze just squeeze it on like that hold that down you want to sort of like squeeze and push at the same time so I'm going down. So that's the front. So let's just push that in a little bit like that. And we will do the back ones. A little bit of glue. You can get different shape ones of these as well. So obviously if you wanted to do a bigger one, bigger journal, you can get um bigger ones of these corners you get more sorts of different shapes well not shapes um, patterns on there so let's squeeze that one down pop that on just squeeze squeeze and squeeze there we go Perfect, and I just think that looks really nice. It just gives it another little extra, doesn't it, to finish it off. So let's pop the lid on there. Now the other thing that I've got are these, and now these are called nail rivets. So what they are is just a little, this little hook, just to hook your little band on as the closure. So we do need to make a little hole for this one so we've got ooh, magnet on my watch step to that so it's just like a little little screw like that and then that just screws in whether you can see it just screws in like that so what we need to do is just make a little hole in the journal where we would like it to go now where is my punch where's my cropper dial here so let's take this out and where shall we put it shall we just have it roughly there let's just make a little little hole there I think now I think we could probably do it with a smaller one but never mind that will probably pop through anyway and that just screws on and they are so simple and they are really good let me screw it with this hand there we go see that's perfect and then oh I think actually what I did let me take a look did I put a little eyelet this side yes look I put a little eyelet on this side just to hold the um, piece of elastic on there so let's do that as well so make sure we are in the 
right place. I'm going to do a bigger hole on this one because we will have a bigger eyelet. Oops. I can level it up properly. There we go. Choose. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. Let's take this little bronzy one. So let's put that through there. Is that on the right hole? I think that's on the right hole. Confuse myself. Put that on there. I don't know why, but they always sort of fall out for me. lovely so that's the closure done let's get in a little elastic band got a little of these are just little hair bands um, which I picked up so I'm going to just use one of these just make sure sometimes they're not very tough so I have broken some so I'm gonna pop that through there like that and then oops not like that pop that through there and just go over itself like that and then that closes and that just hooks on there so that's your lovely simple little closure so now we've got that done let us now what I was going to do on here instead of doing the eyelets I've got this lovely sort of like elastic um, elastic lace so what I was thinking, I was going to just put a piece and glue it either side and then pop your pencil through like that or pen to hold it, which I think might work. So let me just unravel a little bit. Where's my scissors gone? Oh, right in front of me. Chop that down. Now, I wonder if that would stick down properly, like that, I'm going to pull it a little bit tight, shall we see, let's chop a little bit off, so I just want two of these, I just thought it would be quite nice just to have like a little bit of lace on there, stick one piece there, And then a big out there. It might have been easier to um, pop it on here. We could have sewn it actually onto that, couldn't we? So I'm going to try that anyway. Let's see. I'm going to use a little bit of the um, three in one and see how well it works. Oops, about there I think, stick that down, and this little bit at the top, stick it all the way through, so obviously that's going to need to dry for a little while. Hope it will work. Stick that down. Stick these little end bits down. Not sure what that one's going to be as big. I just need to do another one. The top. Yeah, I think that one's a little bit too small. Let's do another one. I thought it would be quite pretty just with a little bit of lace and elastic because the elastic's built into the lace so I thought it might look quite nice but we will see how whether it will work see because sometimes this fabric tack's pretty strong stick that on 
in there. Glue everywhere. leave it for a bit because it does get sort of tacky and then it stays down doesn't it and I think this lace has got a little bit of a mind of its own so let's leave that like that let's just see so that's done um what did I do with the little folders Not the little folder the little booklets so that will sit there nicely get some glue off my hands that one will sit on there and I love it okay so let's pop this in like that and because it's paper to paper and I don't want to get too much glue everywhere I'm going to use oh my gosh the lid was off it dried up there we go just going to use a little bit of the tacky glue on here around here like this I found this is the easiest way to sort of like put the pocket on and have it in the right place so if you hold it like that pop it down stick that down and I can just slide that out and we've got that on there so I can just push that down. I need a little bit more glue here. Just like that. There we go. And that should be in the right place. Perfect. And then pop this one on. Do the same thing, pull that down, glue around here, oops not on your, not on the back of there, level put that roughly there take that out and stick this down let's take this one out make sure this one is stuck down properly Again, you don't have to make the little pockets if you wanted to you could just um, stick this straight onto your your back in the front cover um, would work I don't know whether that's going to actually work what I could have done actually would I could have just sewn it onto that couldn't I yes that's what I should have done oh that might work this pencil is a little bit too big that would work but yeah that's what I should have done stuck it on and sewn it through there maybe I could still sew it I could probably still do a little stitch on there then you wouldn't see it on the back would you but then that's going to be on the other side oh I don't know I'm going to leave it like that anyway because I think that works let me use the smaller pencil out of here because that one's a bit too long, isn't it? Oh no, I like that. I think that looks really nice. Lovely. Okay, put that over there. So, then you wouldn't have anything on the outside, would you? Like that. So, I think these are probably dry. Let's stick that in there. Like that this one in here 
like that oh I do like these now I've got a little bit of this now this is rose rose trim which is the same as the other rose trim that I normally use but this was gifted to me and I've not seen it in this color before and I think it's just beautiful and I think it will go really nicely with this um, I'm just going to put a little bit on the front as well but I'm not sure whether I need it but I might just pop a little bit on here because I think that's just really really pretty 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 I don't really want 13 let's put 14 and again the other side 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 A little bit over the top of there. That looks lovely. So a bit of glue. So if you get all your bits and pieces ready, I don't think this takes very long to do at all. You could do this in a little afternoon, couldn't you? Or if you've got a spare five minutes here and there, you can come back to it. I think these are such lovely ideas for gifts for Christmas. Um, you could sort of like um, do a nice bit of mass making of the covers, couldn't you? Get them all ready. Um, and then you could add in your little journals, not journals, calendars. There we go, I do like that. I think that looks really, really lovely. Close that up. Now I have a little bit of ribbon, which I might pop just glue a little bit. What should we have? I think just a little bit of ribbon will look nice on the front. Don't really think we need that. But then again, that does look pretty, doesn't it? going to just chop it off there and there and stick this down I don't want to stick it down too tight because I think sometimes lace is quite pretty just um, moving about a little bit there we go I do like that probably need to just tidy this up just a little bit but that looks lovely shall I pop this on the front just down through there should we have that many however that many is I keep saving all this little bits of rose trim and everything um, but it's time to use some of it I think I think we hold back and try and keep it um, when we should really be using it which way round does it go let's stick that on There we go, I think that's just lovely. So, so pretty. So there we go. So that's the back, the side. You could put some lace on the side if you want to do on the spine. Open that up and then you've got your lovely little um, calendar folio. What did I do with that pencil? Did I pop it back in here? Let's have another look. I think that will hold it really nicely. Do the fabric tackle or the three in one is pretty strong, isn't it? But I do like that. So we've got one like that, and then I've got another one like this, and that's just got the um, I did just did four little eyelets in there, and then I just threaded through some elastic and tied it in a knot, and then this pencil just goes through that elastic, so that's two different ways to do it. Um, but I think they are both really, really lovely um, and quite simple to do. 
so there we go guys they are two lovely lovely um calendar folios ready to go off to somebody um i can put them into my little christmas stash um ready to go so there we are guys thank you so so much for joining me please stay safe take care and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.